Everybody, this is Nick from OVA Let's Plays. In today's video, we'll be testing out the Influx Waiver versus uh, the Moon Lord. Now, of course, the Influx Waiver, some people debate on whether it's better than the Terror Blade. I think Terraria Help or Happy Days, I can't remember which, but I know of a big Terraria YouTuber compared the two. And I think he said against groups and bat group battles and stuff, it does better. It's hard to test with test dummies because the effects of the group damage will not do that with, with dummies. But we're going to see today um, just how powerful it is. It's 181, so base damage melee wise it does pretty good. So we'll see how well it goes. We'll see how well it worked with the Moon Lord and the Green Slime. Take it Green Slime, that's right. Do, 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 do. Um, I th of the two, I think I like the Terror Blade better, at least as far as how it I'm with the Terror Blade. Let's see. And that way you can decide for yourself. And here we go, guys. As you can tell, it's already doing pretty decent damage to the, the hand, and it doubles back and it does double damage. So that's why some people are saying it's better than the Terror Blade, and I think it... What I don't like about it, and this is going to sound weird, is the fact that it doesn't connect to, to uh, Terraria at all, which the Terror Blade does. I think there should have been... And there should have been a post-Moon Lord upgrade of the Terror Blade that you could blend with the Influx Waiver. Um, and, and in the mods, there's uh, there's the Terra Tamir and stuff like that that you can use to, that you, that is a good upgrade to the to the Terra Blade. But and then the other thing too is the blade is a little bit shorter, which I know sounds weird because you're going to use projectiles majority of the time anyways. But um, so as far as the way it looks and the way it operates, I don't like it better. But damage wise. I think it's better than the Terra Blade. But we'll see, guys. We'll see. Okay, I don't want to kill off the hand completely. I, that's the mistake I made the first time with the other hand. So. Damage-wise, it's doing pretty good. Here we go. Some more damage in. And lately, with this heart statue thing, I haven't the heart statue set up. I don't need the nurse anymore, really. Uh, most of the time, she's still good to have around just in case, anyways. But. For the most part, I don't need the nurse around anymore. So now I just gotta damage the other hand, kill it off. And there we go. Now I just gotta get the core, guys. Especially now that I got super potions too, which helps out a lot. The super potions in the heart set. The only thing I think I could do better, but it would disable the UFO for a little bit, is to have a honey, to have a honey uh, thing there. To help with regeneration. There we go, guys. We beat him. So that was with the influx waiver. So, and of course, I got the meow mirror on that one. I know you guys are going to be in the comments. You should have got the meow mirror. Get the meow mirror. I've got like three. You can never have enough meow mirrors. It looks like it's snowing. That's cool. I like that part. There we go. It's snowing, everybody. Man, 
And there's the Terra Blade. Now we'll get a damage comparison. I should have had this preset before, but um, so Terra Blade does 162, 30% critical strike. This one has about it's about 25 more damage. So we'll see. We'll see how well. I'll summon the the Moon Lord right now. So by the time I get back to that point, it'll be time to fight him. Now, and noticeably, it moves faster. The projectiles that do come out are faster. So there is that. And as as I told you before, the the blade itself is bigger. Too big of a deal, except in close quarter combat, which with the projectiles you won't find yourself unless you're exploring caves and stuff, in which case it's not going to be a huge deal. It's more of an aesthetic than anything, really. But it's still there, guys. It's still there. The Maomir. Of course, the Maomir beats both of them put together, but... We're going to find out, guys, the Terra Blade. Here we go. Yeah, it's not doing as good. You can kind of tell, like, right now, even. It's not doing as good of damage. So, yeah, the Influx Waver is better, guys. That's not too much of a surprise, considering it's... It's uh, 1.3 content. It's early 1.3, but still, it is 1.3. So it would make sense. It should be better than the, the, uh, the Terra Blade. Now we'll get the other hand low, and we'll have a better strategy this time because we're. What? It's not quite as good this time. There we go. Still a pretty solid weapon, even in the 1.3, though. It's like I said, it would have felt. I know we get the Meow Mirror, but I, I just, I was just thinking it would be so cool to have like an upgraded Terra Blade. That'd be awesome. How cool that would be. Got to heal up really quick. Oh, heal me faster! There we go. Get the other hand here. Get this other hand down. I should really move up when he does that when I'm not attacking the head. <laughs> See, there we go. That way it doesn't hit me. Thank you. 
Yeah, it's noticeably taking a lot longer, guys, with this than the Influx Waiver, so... Yeah, it's been decided that the Influx Waiver is a better, better weapon than the Terra Blade. But of course, I like the solar eruption better. Then after the solar eruption, I like the nail mirror better. I had a really high hopes for the terrarium, but the projectiles don't go nearly as far as I was hoping, and it's kind of clunky. See, it's taking like twice as long, guys. It's taking twice as long to beat him with the Terra Blade. There we go, guys. So there you have it. Uh, Testing against the Moon Lord, the Influx Waver did a much better job of beating him than the Terra Blade. So, if you're wondering which which is a better weapon, that's another test that Influx Waver is a. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please give it a like, comment, share, subscribe, and if you have any suggestions down below. Um, Please write so in the comments, and I'll, I'll see if I can if I can do those suggestions. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, everybody.